So as the players shake hands, we can look at the teams for you. Marco Silva described the defeat of Bournemouth as one of the worst performances of the season. It was the last time Bernd Leno conceded three goals in one game. There's one change to the back four from the Burnley game last weekend. Issa Diop replaces Tosin, who has a knock. Joao Palinia gave away a penalty in the defeat of the Vitality for a foul on Antoine Semenyo. Tom Kearney comes in for Harrison Reed. The three attacking midfielders have all scored against the Cherries in the past. Pereira opened the scoring at the Vitality last season. Rodrigo Muniz netted at Turf Moor last week. He keeps his place up top, meaning that Armando Breuer is only on the bench. Spanish speedster Adama Traore is back in the matchday squad for the first time since November after a hamstring injury. Kenny Tete is out with an Achilles problem. Anthony Iraola has seen his side drop four points from winning positions in the last two games. His goalkeeper and captain Neto has gone four Premier League matches without a clean sheet. It is the same back four for the third game in a row. Adam Smith makes his 400th career league appearance. Ryan Christie's recovered from the thigh injury that forced him off last week against Forest to make a 14th consecutive league start. Louis Sinistera's low move from Leeds was made permanent yesterday. Marcus Tavernier replaces Antoine Semenyo. Alex Scott is preferred to Justin Clivert. Dom Solanke takes on one of his favourite opponents. He's netted in each of his last five games against the Cottagers. And he has some serious competition on the bench now with the arrival of Turkish striker Enes Unal. He makes the bench for the first time since his move from Hetafe. Yes, AFC Bournemouth in their third kit who get us underway. Both sides looking for their first league win of 2024. In fact, Bournemouth's last league victory was the 3-0 win against today's opponents on Boxing Day. Well, they want an early free kick there, Fulham. They're not going to get one. It's uh, Rodrigo Muniz who went over just on the edge of the D. Good break, wasn't it? But he just sandwiched between players. I think he was going over there. I think that was a, actually a little bit of a touch on him, Muniz. He's a little bit unlucky. Strange kickoff, though, Gary. Slight an up and under. I thought that was for Twickers later. He's seen it all for Bournemouth. Ream stepped in ahead of Solanke. Forward it goes by Pereira, looking for Muniz. Pereira continued his run, it breaks kindly for Deckard over Reeds! And Fulham take the lead on five minutes, it's a Bobby Dazzler! A fine finish from the Jamaican, and the perfect start for the Cottagers. Did it get a ricochet off Lewis Cook? A little slip. Well, it certainly didn't look like it was going to come in, in the form of a goal, did it, Gary? But Fulham get a bit fortunate here with a slip in defence. It's a good try over the top. Unis couldn't quite get hold of it. Didn't really get his head up here because there wasn't a lot of support. Still crossed it in. There's a little deflection there. And there's the slip, the vital slip that let Stiegel Dover read in for the chance. And he's there. It wasn't a chance that looked like coming, but it's a bit of a gift in the end. Oh, really bad slip, isn't it? Little slip up, and it's an easy finish for Deacon Dover Reed. Well, he does tuck it away very nicely, doesn't he? For his sixth goal of the season. He's actually top scorer now for Fulham this campaign. Lovely little nutmeg. He's got it back from Kenny. It's William! save from Neto beautiful football from Fulham that's a top stop that's a lovely triangle they got over there Kearney, Willian and Robinson and eventually it's a lovely little give and go with Kearney and Willian but what a stop as you said Gary from Neto that's one of the hardest stops when it's low down like that but he just the hand comes out and it's a real good stop really orchestrating things here just couldn't slide that through to Deckard over Reed, but here's Castagna drilling it all the way through. Robinson pushed away. Neto did well, and he was helped out by his defenders. They're really threatening here, Fulham. It's been a really good opening half an hour from the Cottages. 
Yeah, good stuff. Bournemouth hanging on a little bit. They're lucky they're not two down or even more. Good breakaway. Kearney instrumental again. He's really pulling the strings in there. That's a deflected pass out wide. Castagna really thuds it across, misses out everyone, goes to Robinson, and they make a couple of little vital blocks there. Just towing it away to safety. But they're hanging on at the moment. It was a lucky deflection, that one. Tavernier to take this. Oh, that was clever. Solanke looking to nip in in front of Leno. He nearly jinxed it there, didn't he, Gary? <laughs> <laughs> he did really well, didn't he? Just couldn't open his body up enough there, but I think he'd have been better flicking that with the outside of the foot. Yeah, for me, he's made the wrong choice there, Solanke. Difficult chance, because it pitches just in front of him, but you've got to flick that with the outside of the foot rather than opening your body up. Here's Kenny. Willian. Lifted in to Deckard over Reed and into the net. Muniz makes it 2 0. He scored in back to back Premier League games. And Fulham have a vice like grip on this game now. He took that well. That's a poacher's goal. Yeah, he just got there in time, didn't he? But what a ball from Willian. He's picked out Bobby Deacord over Reed up against the six foot two Lloyd Kelly. He's chipped it over the top of Kelly's head. Look, he addresses the situation. They think they're going to play short on the left hand side again. No, clips it to the far post. Kelly, look, oh, that's inch perfect. And that one there, I think the defender and the goalkeeper just can't, don't commit to it enough here. Look, they're favourites. Muniz is third favourite, yet he gets there and gets the vital toe. Good goal for Fulham. Maybe could have been prevented. Well taken by Mooney's, but what a ball from Willian. Inch perfect. Uh, he enjoyed that, his first Premier League goal at home. Five Bournemouth players up in this attack. Sinistera. Oh, a chance for Christie, which he miscued. It is a corner. Yeah, it was a decent chance, wasn't it? Good, bright opening from Bournemouth. This time getting beyond Fulham on that left-hand side. Can't quite meet it on the bounce there, Christy, can he? Just doesn't, doesn't connect properly with that. It's blocked by Robinson away for a corner, but a better connection, and it's their first goal. Third corner for Bournemouth to be taken by Tavernier. Oh, it's a good delivery. And it's loose and smashed in by Sinisi. Bournemouth are right back in it within five minutes of the second half starting. Fulham concede a sloppy goal from a corner. They'll be bitterly disappointed about that, but it's game on. Well, it is game on, and they come out the traps quickly. They pressed in, they got a little bit of a reward, and really early in the second half, look, they win the first ball. That's well played, isn't it, by Sinesi? Because he controls it with one foot as it goes beyond him. Look at this, Gary. Lovely touch and a spin and a shot in such a tight situation. Many a forward would be proud of that. Brilliant touch with one foot onto the other, half volley smack. Great goal. It's a lot better than it looks, actually. There's the touch. What a touch that is. Then the spin and the half volley on the turn. What a finish. Fulham have got that sinking feeling from last week. But Kearney striding forward past Christie. Can Smith get back? Willian. Scored, but just have a look at this ball from Willian again, Gary. Is pinpoint accuracy. Everything stops still when Willian gets on the ball. It's a great break by Kearney. I think he should go to his right hand side, but he comes back to his pal, his partner in well, goal scoring crime for me. These two, they're brilliant. Out to him again, and look at this for a spot on cross. 
A run from De Cordova Reed drags two players out of it, but William finds Muniz on the far post. He waits, he stops, he ponders, he picks the pass, and what a pass that is. Spot on, 3-1. Look at that. Yes, it's on now, I'll clip it. Head up, picks it out perfectly. What a start to the second half. Well, eight days ago, he didn't have a single Premier League goal. And now he's on a hat-trick. Christie to take the latest corner. It's come all the way through. Oh. Well, Unal attacked that. That's Ream again. He really is the man on the spot at the moment. He's contesting that first header. Ball comes fizzing back in again from Gerkes. Or, sorry, Senesi. Look at that. He now probably thinks he's scored. 11th corner for Bournemouth. Christie, difficult one to hit, to say the least. Seventh minute of stoppage time. Might be the last attack of the game, this. Watara. Kirkes. Solanke's in there. Oh, and Fevra, let it go. Cook's ball in. Watara's header. Well, again, Fulham survive. Should have been a bit tighter this game in the scoreline, shouldn't it? Christie. Curled in towards Watara. Oh, another touch. And that is that. Victory for Fulham. Their first of 2024 in the Premier League. And my goodness, they had to work for it. A superb performance from Rodrigo Muniz getting his first two home Premier League goals. Deckard over Reed got the scoring started in just the fifth minute of the game. He then set up Muniz for the second. Willian superb got the assist for the third. Senesi scored to make it 2-1 with a fine goal of his own from the corner. But Fulham got the job done despite relentless pressure from the Cherries in the second half. They move above Bournemouth in the table. It's finished. Fulham 3, Bournemouth 1. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.